Minnesota has a unique landscape with thousands of lakes, beautiful forest, and some of the most fertile and productive farmland in the nation. Our farms produce an abundance of corn, soybeans, and other crops. Minnesota also offers livestock producers a vast amount of fertile grazing lands that provide the foundation for a healthy cattle industry. Two segments of the beef industry are important to Minnesota agriculture. One group raises beef cows and calves, usually on pasture land that isn't suitable for crops. Cattle feedlots raise beef animals from about 600 pounds to their market weight of about 1,500 pounds. Both groups of producers work hard to care for animals and provide quality meat products that consumers expect. This land is real suitable for beef, beef land, I guess, or beef ground, because it's we're kind of in the river bottom. We're in a transition zone between real agricultural land south of here and even a mile north to get some pretty good farmland again. My goal here is basically to balance both livestock and wildlife. I try to make this favorable for both and not overgraze it. If I can keep the natural spots wild, I can use it to my benefit also for enjoyment and recreation. Cow-calf operations are located throughout the state. These farms or ranches rely heavily on grazing to meet the nutrient needs of cows and calves. Grazing is much more cost-effective than feeding cows in a feed yard, and it makes great use of land that typically isn't suited for crops. Cows get the nutrients they need from rich grasses, and the growing calves receive most of the nutrients they need from their mother. A cow's job is to maintain her condition and feed her calf. Many producers fence off large pastures into smaller ones and use rotational grazing. Pastures not being grazed will quickly regrow within a few weeks and the cattle can be turned back in. Fresh water must be available at all times. In cow-calf operations, cows are typically bred in late summer or early fall using bulls or artificial insemination. Genetics are very important to produce a calf that will have the desired traits for consumer demand. Calves are born in late winter and spring. At birth, they weigh about 60 to 100 pounds. The producer checks his animals several times a day during calving. As the calves get older, they are given supplemental dry feed. This helps calves get used to the feed they will be eating in a feedlot. It also provides extra nutrients that calves may not be getting from pasture grass or the mother's milk. Calves are weaned from their mothers when they are four to six months old. They are large enough to eat dry feed and no longer need their mother's milk. At this age, they move to a feed yard or another location to be raised as replacement cows or bulls in a breeding program. In the late fall, cow-calf producers can fence in corn or soybean fields and allow cattle to graze the stubble. The stock, stem, and leaves offer a good source of nutrients. In the winter months, grazing cattle are fed stored hay and dry feed. Manure collected during the winter is usually spread on cropland in the spring. Another type of beef cattle producer operates a feedlot. In a feedlot, cattle are raised from about 600 pounds to a finished weight of about 1,500 pounds. Most of the beef calves born in Minnesota spend about nine months or more in a feedlot until they reach market weight. Feedlot cattle eat a mixture of corn, soybean meal, silage, and other feedstuffs. The feed is high in fat, protein, and energy. It helps the animals gain weight quickly and steadily, usually three or more pounds a day. Finishing cattle on pasture would require substantially more time and a vast amount of grassland acres. Most beef cattle in Minnesota and throughout the U.S. are finished in a feedlot. I love what I do every day because I'm able to work outside every day. We feed probably six to 7,000 cattle a year. We are a custom feedlot. We feed a lot of other people's cattle. We feed for all types of different clients, clients that are cow-calf people, clients that are run stock or grazer operations. Feedlot design is important for management and environmental reasons. And in Minnesota, these operations must also follow strict requirements to protect water quality. 
Through the course of the time the cattle are here, whether it be three months or seven to nine months, the cattle will eat approximately seven different rations. I'm gonna make a finisher two load, which would be our uh, second hottest ration. And I've got two pens to feed it to. And our ration consists of five ingredients, liquid supplement, dry corn, high moisture corn, our silage and our ground hay. We have about 2,000 acres of crop ground. We raise corn, and soybeans, and a little wheat. We'll chop about 150 to 200 acres of silage a year to meet our needs. We feed twice a day. We feed once in the morning and then once in the afternoon. Right now, we feed about seven loads of feed a day in the morning, and that changes with the amount of cattle we have on feed throughout the year. Feedlots all operate differently, but all must follow Minnesota's strict manure handling, storage, and application requirements. Minnesota has nearly 15,000 beef cattle operations, raising more than 400,000 cows and finishing nearly 300,000 cattle a year for market. The beef cattle industry in Minnesota has a significant economic impact. Each animal provides about $1,634 in economic activity. Minnesota cattle consume a large amount of our locally grown crops and provide employment for many of our rural neighbors.